Julian, Greens, like most Americans, are civil libertarians at heart. We believe in personal privacy. We believe in internet freedom, even as we call for complete public transparency and accountability. My question to you is what can we do as individuals to protect ourselves and what can we do to help build the movement for keeping the internet free and open so we the people can talk to ourselves? All right, g great question. Uh, <clears throat> well, first of all, have coherency uh, in your own movement. I mean, you, you have to have coherency to be able to understand um, your own view of the world and the attacks that are occurring, which uh, let me tell you that I've just seen that the attacks have started to ramp up on Jill Stein. Uh, they, they, they are going to go through the roof. Uh, I've had attacks from what is effectively the Clinton uh, dirt machine. Uh, they, they're now post-convention. You guys are going to be post-convention. Uh, those attacks are going to be ferocious. Uh, but you'll see from that and learn lessons from that about how the media works and how one can um, defend your principles uh, and ideas uh, in the face of that kind of uh, media corruption. So um, to uh, defend civil liberties uh, and the internet, the first, the first thing is to practice it. That's the number one thing. Uh, that's what we do. We defend the First Amendment uh, and similar constitutional amendments in other states by practicing them. Uh, we have won every single court case uh, that we have uh, been involved in uh, over the last 10 years. Um, uh, and that any right uh, that is not fought for through practice uh, and defence uh, is very, very quickly lost. It is just a piece of paper unless you actually fight for it and practice for it. Um, then there's a range of technical measures um, and some uh, good people, researchers, uh, trying to uh, push out those technical measures. Um, WikiLeaks tweets about that. Edward Snowden tweets about what some of those technical measures are. I support those people uh, who are engaged in trying to engineer, um, in a practical sense, how to protect uh, people's privacy. Uh, and the other is to support very, to various groups that are doing it and, and to build um, the ideological understanding uh, that it is an important thing. Because let's go back and look at Google. Google is very different in an important way from Lockheed Martin. Yes, Google is building drones. Yes, Lockheed Martin, Martin was and is building F-16s. But Google also controls how we communicate with each other. So Google is, in a sense, like HIV. It doesn't, it's not just something that afflicts your arm. It afflicts your, your ability to understand and fight uh, the infection. That's true of all um, media, libraries, uh, communication services, etc. They're involved in um, uh, that part uh, of society that we use to understand ourselves, and that is the freedom of communication. So the, the freedom of communication, in some sense, is the fundamental right, because it is the enabling right uh, that allows us to speak to each other to understand the importance of all our other rights. And so when the freedom of communication uh, is degraded uh, or maligned, when whistleblowers are prosecuted, when one organisation uh, starts to develop a monopoly uh, on the internet and interfere with our communication, uh, then all our rights suffer because this fundamental enabling right uh, is degraded. As, as the editor of WikiLeaks, uh, uh, I have gone through a lot of battles. Uh, I have seen um, corrupt mainstream media outlets uh, try to um, not report initially on some of our materials, uh, spin them in other directions. That's happened uh, just recently. And I, and I have also seen... Uh, good journalists uh, embedded in those institutions uh, fighting uh, to, to be accurate uh, and truthful. There are good people, even in bad institutions. Um, most of our sources are good people wanting to do good things uh, within the US military or the intelligence uh, or uh, political parties. Uh, so 
my strong advice is to understand, first of all, the necessity uh, to be very skeptical um, of the traditional media apparatus, uh, which is ultimately uh, owned by some of the largest uh, industrial conglomerates in the world, uh, strongly connected to other points of power. Uh, work around it. Um, be, become uh, your own media in practice, in small ways, uh, in big ways, uh, to keep um, to keep um, your principles and sense of clarity on principles. Uh, what the Clinton campaign is doing at the moment is trying to say, well, OK, yes, maybe we're uh, connected to arms dealers uh, and to Saudi Arabia, uh, and yes, maybe we uh, subverted uh, the integrity of the democratic primaries, et cetera, et cetera. But you will just have to swallow that. You will just have to swallow that or else uh, you'll get Donald Trump. That's a form of extortion. Uh, and one, it is. It is a form of extortion. You have and, elicited and applause, Julian. You can't, you can't permit. It's very important not to allow uh, the political process to suffer from extortion or even yourself to be susceptible to it. extortion. The, one says one has certain principles. If these principles are not followed, then there is a price to be paid. Uh, and that creates a standard and a general deterrent. Uh, and I think it is in, important for those people uh, who feel uh, that the, their principles have been violated uh, in the way that the democratic primary process uh, has been run or how Chelsea Manning has been in prison for 35 years and tortured uh, or the Espionage Act crackdowns or many other things to go, OK, um, well, there's a cost uh, to violating principles, uh, even, if, even if there's also a cost to yourself, even if you don't like the risk, uh, which seems to be getting very small, but the risk that Donald Trump becomes president, uh, that one has to have a lion somewhere. Otherwise, as each election cycle proceeds, you are... Uh, pushed further and further into the corner. That's WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange speaking at the Green Party convention in Houston via video stream for, from the Ecuadorian embassy in London, where he's been holed up for more than four years. He was speaking with the Green Party's David Cobb for Trump.